Workers at Walmart, the world's largest private employer, are planning to walk out on strike this week from more than 1,000 stores across the country. The demonstration is scheduled to disrupt Black Friday sales on one of the busiest retail days of the year. This year, Walmart and other chain stores are beginning their sale a day early on Thursday night. Workers are demanding better pay and conditions, but Walmart has accused them of planning to picket illegally and is threatening to retaliate against participating employees. Employees. Both sides have petitioned the National Labor Relations Board to rule on their behalf and are waiting for a decision, which may hinge on different interpretations about the reason for the strike. FSRN's Alice Olstein has more. Thousands of Walmart workers across the country are planning to walk out during one of the store's biggest shopping times of the year, the post-Thanksgiving Black Friday sale. The group Our Walmart, founded two years ago by former and current Walmart workers, organized the demonstration. If we can come out and come together tomorrow and walk out, it would show Walmart that we are strong. That's Walmart employee Elaine Rosier speaking to FSRN from a church-run soup kitchen in Miami Gardens, Florida. She's worked at the local Walmart for seven years stocking shelves, but is currently on leave without pay while she recovers from carpal tunnel surgery. She said poor treatment from the store's management, including verbal abuse and retaliation for complaints, motivated her to sign up for the Black Friday walkout. But Razier says that many of her friends at work are still hesitant to take part. You nobody to them. They can just treat you any kind of way if they can get away with it. There's so many associates that are suffering in that position, but they are scared to speak up because they're afraid to lose their jobs. Workers in many states have filed labor abuse charges against Walmart for many years, alleging insufficient pay, health and safety violations, discrimination against women and people of color, and intimidation and retaliation against those who attempt to form a union. But Mike Wilson with DC Jobs with Justice says a recent announcement regarding holiday work hours was, for many, the final straw. Walmart decided to start their Black Friday now on Thursday. Um, They did this last year, but they moved it up even earlier to 8 p.m. this year. Um, And that's got a lot of workers, you know, who are already facing these poverty wages, uh, lack of affordable health care, and disrespect on the job. You know, and people are saying now they're also taking away, you know, their holiday time with their families. And it's, you know, made a lot more people um, even more upset about what Walmart is doing to, to them as workers. In the weeks leading up to the strike, both Walmart and the workers' group Our Walmart have filed complaints with the National Labor Relations Board in Washington, D.C., the government agency in charge of mediating private sector workplace disputes. Walmart has charged the striking workers and organizations supporting them, including the United Food and Commercial Workers Union, with illegal picketing. They say the purpose of all of our Walmart's protests over the past year, including this week's mobilization, is to form a union. And since workers can only picket for 30 days when demanding a union, a Black Friday protest would violate the law. The Labor Board is also considering the workers' petition, which says the picketing is not to form a union, but to stop unfair labor practices, including threats to fire workers who join our Walmart. But labor law expert Aaron Johansson with the organization American Rights at Work says even if the board rules in the workers' favor, there's little to prevent the abuses from continuing. There's really no penalty under the law for when the company does engage in illegal activity, which is why it's, it does so with such frequency. And so there's really fin- no financial reason for the company not to fire someone if they think it's going to really chill organizing activity. Walmart is asking the board to issue an emergency injunction on the protests scheduled for Thursday night and Friday morning, but the board announced Wednesday that it would probably not rule before the holiday. If they agree with the company that Friday's actions are aimed at forming a union, then they could declare the strike illegal. But if they side with the workers, the demonstration can continue until the board investigates and resolves their claims of unfair labor practices. Alice Olstein, FSRN, Washington.